Hello and welcome to X and Y Gaming. Casually competitive, officially now a pack opening channel. So uh, today, this is going to be the Elite Trainer Box of Celestial Storm. There, there it goes. Before anyone asks, uh, I will be doing my best to cover, if not hide, the prize codes. The, the, the coded cards, those are actually going to someone already. Sorry, there's no favorite retweet follow a donkey to the prize so anyways we're just gonna jump right in and I know in retrospect I probably should have gotten this part uh, already open but I will Oof. And the worst part is it's, it's, it's a large box now, this is huge but uh it most definitely doesn't fit entirely on my camera and I think that's hilarious Sleeve out, oh, this player's guide, which is essentially just a list of all the cards you can hope to pull. Oh, jeez. Nice uh, geometry project going on here. Oh, nice. I forgot they do this. They have little dice for damage counters. Poisoned. Uh, burn. Oh, okay, cool. A new kind of GX style counter. One of these is straight energy cards. There you go. I don't even think this is anything all that special, to be honest. Pretty sure it's just basic energies. Ooh. Yeah. Not even any double colorless. <laughs> and then sleeves. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, it's really like this Celtic. Weird Celtic knot design, something going on in the background for sure. Oh, it's beautiful. This is two different shades of green in case it's hard to tell on the camera. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And... Oh, Jesus. A little dividers. Ah, a little uh, requisite dividers. Okay, cool. Yeah. So what do we got? Celestial Storm, right? That's all with this here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. Let's see what's, uh, what's going on here. So, I don't honestly play a whole lot of Pokemon trading card game. I don't know. Uh, it's fun. I mean, it's Pokemon, so on the one hand, I'm always going to want to play it. But on the other hand, I kind of just like Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot more, so... Let's see what kind of cool Pokemon we got going on here. Oh, skid here. Oh, I see some good, see some good shiny action here. Tropius. Uh, find a friend. Yes, I would love to find a friend. I will find a friend and they will duel me. That would be great. Oh, let's see, what do, what do people do? Second, there's one. So, take out all the code cards first. Oh my god. I should get a pair of scissors. Oh, here we go. Oh. Let's see here. A clamp roll. Evolutionary advantage. If you go second, this Pokemon can evolve during your first turn. Ah, cool. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I guess, I don't know. I mean, in Yu Gi Oh! You don't draw a card if you go first. Of course, you can't attack either. Um. So, you know, obviously someone has to go first, someone has to go second, but I guess I've never really thought about a deck being built for going first or for going second. So, oh hey, cool. A shiny skitty. And, oh! Rainbow Brush. Choose an energy card attached to one of your Pokemon. Search your deck for a basic energy card and switch it to that card. Shuffle the first energy card back into your deck. That's alright. Really nice... Full art card going on here. Like, I like... Like, the art alone is pretty sick nasty, but, uh... It's really cool. I don't even know if you can get on the camera. Oh, there's a little... Oh, geometric pattern every time you flint it. You flick it. It's ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, so good. Definitely putting that one aside. What, are, what, what even... Hey, an Orcorio. Nice. Ah, ooh. That's, uh, not rare. I just like Fisherman. He's great for keeping energies in your hand and being uh, economically friendly and recyclable. Get this 
code card here. See, I guess one of the weird things about Pokemon the card game is, like, the, for example, Surskit, Water Bug. Well, they don't have either of those. Well, they have water, but they made them a grass type energy. So that's, uh, this is not really bad, but it's certainly, I, I don't know, I feel like it could be better. I also remember when, you know, the first Pokemon movie came out and you see some dude throwing out a Don fan. You're like, what the fuck is that thing? It's an elephant tire. And then you figure out there's a little, even little baby, little baby, little baby wheel. Look at him. He's so cute. I love him. And the Lombre, which honestly, uh, I don't know. I like the design, I guess. And then, uh, whoa, <laughs> hang on. I gotta, he's like, uh. Oh, what's the word? Not a, not a needle point. Is it crochet? Kind of like Yoshi's Woolly World was. Oh, it's really hard to get it because it's not zooming right. But man, that looks really cute. Like an actual plushie, I would love to just have. And oh, hey, a beast ball. Neat. Oh, hey, here you go. Here is uh, the not shiny full art version of Rainbow Brush. Neat. And fishermen, because I like them. Was there, hang on, was there even a shiny? Oh yeah, well I guess Lombre. Oh, I guess it's not like Yu-Gi-Oh, where you're basically guaranteed a shiny. That's not too bad. Let's see here. So far, so mediocre. And that's not the worst thing in the world, I gotta say. Oh. Uh, get that code card out of here. Oh, it's the Babby Wheel. I love them. So I don't know what it is about Fampy. Look at Electrite, Torchic. They're all cute and all, but they're not Fampy level of cute. Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck is this thing? If you took this Pokemon as a face down prize card during your turn and your bench isn't full, before you put it into your hand, you may put it under your bench and take one more prize card. What the fuck? That is sick nasty. Uh, if this Pokemon is now asleep uh, at the end of turn, next turn, defending Pokemon will be knocked out. Huh. Well, that seems pretty cool to me. Like, can you imagine that in Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Uh, what are you going to do? Make them lose life points? Yeah. They don't really have a prize system working out, which honestly, I'm glad they don't. I would be pissed if I couldn't draw into a card I needed for a summon. Oh, he's pretty cool looking. Got another shell gone too. Sorry about that. Unfortunately for my cat, uh, she is an inside cat now, and that bores her from time to time. Well, she can wait to get loving when I am done recording. Uh, I've got to read stuff first. Has 30 HP or less remaining damage and 60. That's all right. I like the design though. Like dead ass serious. Just give me the belt, like the actual belt, not not even this card. Just the belt that's in the card, so I can wear this belt. I would wear it. I don't know with what outfit. Hopefully a Pokemon themed outfit. Preferably fairy types. And I'm being beaten. By plastic. Oof, story of my life. What am I going to get my ass kicked by a Blaziken? There we go. Let's uh, get this here. Mr. Wismer, what you crying for, buddy? Oh, there's a fucking beware behind it. I'd be crying too. Things creep me out. Stop it. A sneeze. Oh, the more. I love this crochet artwork they got going on. Like, fuck the Pokemon cards, just give us dolls that are made like that. You'd probably find one on Etsy, honestly. Yeah. No, heard you like Mudkip. Oh, hell yeah, friend bot. I don't even care what this does. I want this card. And it actually is shiny, so that's pretty cool, too. Search deck, the same type as one of your opponent's Pokemon. I can see that actually. Oh. Hello. Friend ball. I can see it working out. Huh, that's not bad. Uh, rising Dash is not affected by a, a resistance. 
And if this Pokemon has any metal energy attached to it, which why would it not? It has no weakness. That's not too bad. Don't know if I want to drop through an entire two cards to get to Solgaleo, but I guess you could just rare candy him on. Oh, hey, look, the metal energy. He comes with one right out of the pack. Beast Ball. Hey, I'm going to replace that a rainbow brush before this is over with. And a Tropius. We got Tropius amounts of, what is he, a palm tree, Brontosaurus with wings? Yeah. I got Tropius amounts of you, my dude. So far, I, I'm going to know. I'm going to have to say Jirachi is probably the coolest card I've pulled so far. But that friend ball is a close second. I'm not going to lie. Let's see here. What is this? Oh, I'm going to try and open this one like like delicately. Look at that. Look at that. Oof. Beautiful. Beautiful artwork they went with this. And it's just for a pack of cards. Like, they didn't have to try this hard. They didn't have to make it look that good. But they did. Uh, C-Dot. Harden. I want maximum Harden, C-Dot. Another Skitter. Oh, and a Lolan Radita. Oh, look at him. He's got a little mustache. And the artwork behind him is simplistic, but cute. <laughs> Man, I, you know... For, as, you know, every card game's different, clearly, otherwise they'd all be the same and it'd be boring. But for as different as Pokemon is to Yu-Gi-Oh, and as simplistic as dumbed down as it is, the artwork in each of the cards is just absolutely fantastic. And they go through a different range of mediums, like, you know, that's some soft color shit, that's basic bitch, where's the other one? Like the, like, Shell Gone and he's knit. Or, and I know they also do claymation artwork sometimes. Just, oh my god. So good. What even is a sky pillar? Prevent all effects of the opponent's attacks, including damage. Time to bench Pokemon. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Got an Exploud. Oh, Plusle and Minum are on the same card. Firefighting. <laughs> cool. And a Cell Rock. Nice. The maximum HP of each year of Luna Tone in play is 130. Yeah, gotta go for that Luna Tone, Soul Tone. Oh, Staka Taka. Staka Taka Taka Taka. Gotta go for that L Luna Tone meta, you know what I'm saying? What is this? Chirachi? Rayquaza? Fuck em. Give me that Luna Tone. Oh, hey, a belt. Okay, I would love to get a fucking Metagross in here and make a metal deck. Just because I think that would be metal as fuck. <laughs> I hope people hear the fucking disdain in that one. Hey, there you go. A heat ran. Oh, I love the way they do the metal energy in the across the, the text area. That is nice. Probably honestly not that great of a card in practicality usage. Smooth. When you need a smooth over with the ladies, mccargo has got your... Oh, hell yeah, I gotta draw three. I don't give a shit. Uh, Underground Expedition. Look at the bottom of four cards of your deck and put the two of them into your hand. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Especially, oh yeah, like this. Uh, this, this, just the fact that someone made this. Whether it was CGI or they actually made it and then photographed it. Just, oh, it's so good. But yeah, there's a lot of cards every now and again where they'd be like, oh, you know, draw two, search for one, add, add a card to the bottom of your deck. You could probably set this up. Give yourself some good cards, get them into your hand. Uh, and last one, which is convenient, because I already pulled a Jirachi. So we're going to go ahead now and see what's in the last pack. Oh my god. I'm hard. I'm sorry, I'm a C dot. Oh god, man. I know you can hear that one. And... Oh. Last code card there. What do we got here? Sneasel up in front and ready center. There we go. A Bagon. Now I can actually evolve into a Shellgon. I guess all I need now is a... Not a Flygon. A <laughs> Salamence. Wow. Battle toy. There we go. There's a Beldum. Still no Metacross, though. Oh, Lotad. Oh, a Shiny Fisherman. <laughs> okay, cool. I... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. First of all, Shiny Fisherman, that's... Okay. 
Alolan Eradicate GX. What? Okay, discard up to two cards from your hand. Dex is 40 damage for each card you discarded. For 120? It's pretty good, I guess. And that doesn't cost anything, it looks like. So let's see, what is the... Uh, his GX attack doesn't cost anything either. What the hell? Search your deck for up to six item cards. Reveal them. Put them into your hand. And then shuffle your deck. <laughs> I mean... How much more definitive do you want? You need six cards? Here you go, dude. Uh, and then you can Hyperfang. Looks like it's pretty easy to call off just two attachments. Flip a coin if a Tails. This attack does nothing. Mmm. The item Maniac I can see definitely being useful, but I wouldn't want to throw out an Alolan Eradicate for his Hyperfang. The Auto Maniac for sure. And maybe Chuck Away too. Uh, you can swing for 120. Uh, double if you do weak. Well, that's not bad. It look, definitely looks cool. It is a pretty beautiful card. Let's see if I can get the nice... Yeah. Oof. Alright. What do we got? Super scoop up. Some mascarin. Oh, hey, Bill's in maintenance. Shuffle a card and draw three cards. That sounds like a good trade-off. Another Begone. Spinny Top. There you go. And there you go. That's the end of all the packs. Actually, I gotta say, uh, the Alolan Radicate definitely looks really good. But in terms of viability, the really only item Maniac I think would be useful. But it, what do I know? Three Fishermen. I love him. Especially this one that's shiny. That is, oof, mwah, beautiful. So I think ultimately my favorite card out of this, I don't know what I have to say, it's gotta be Jirachi. Just the fact that if you're lucky enough to pull them as a prize card, you get another one and, and a free summon. Well, you get a free summon. Fuck it. I don't care about technicalities right now. So there you go. And uh, that's all I got. Uh, Brian, I, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> Bye.